Mark, that's a really big afternoon, three breeders challenge. Yes, yeah, so it's a great day, Greg, and uh, they've all gone well and uh, they're proud of our team. Just looking at the way the race has panned out, probably kept under wraps, got the front and, and everyone expected him to, but the other, the other two winners, I, I, I think even you'd be a little bit surprised that it, races didn't go to plan. No, they didn't, and uh, oh, there's, a, there's a lot more speed today, which you expect in these big races, but uh, yeah, on, on paper, I'd, it didn't work out the way I thought it was anyway. Our Waikiki Beach, he, uh, he had to show how good he was today. Um, in the past, he's been rolling to the front, but today he had to really show his true colours. Yes, that's right, he did. Um, you know, Mix Horse held him out and uh, he had to sit outside him all the way, so it was a courageous effort by him. Did that answer a few questions that maybe you had in the back of your mind about him? Oh, look, I think he's put how good he is behind doubt beyond doubt for me and uh, well, today he just had to be the best and he was. So where does he go to now? Does he, does he need a short break or is he, is he still feeling well within himself? Look he's feeling well within himself but we've got the opportunity to give him a short break now and, and prepare him for a Breeders Crown Heat. Alright what about Supersonic Miss? She was brilliant in, uh, in her semi-final win and, and today things didn't go to plan but she was still too good. Yeah that's right Greg and she's been our biggest improver through the time we've been here and uh, I was thrilled with her today but uh, she's not Breeders' Crown paid up so she'll, uh, we'll have to work out a plan for her. She, uh, she likes the Australian weather, do you think that's, uh, she, she seemed, as you said, she's really blossomed. Yeah, well, she's not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about uh, Captain Under Wraps? Uh, he, had to, he had to fight today and last week they, they ran over him late but today he was able to get up off the canvas. Yes, that's right. And I think 2400 probably just finds him out a little bit. He, you know, over that distance he's probably better in behind but um, oh, the opportunity was there to roll to the front and we took it. Where will he go now? He, he's another Breeders' Crown eligible. OK, so um, you know, by the sounds of it, it's not the last time the Australian tra trainers are going to see you. Obviously, the big team in Queensland, but there's a, there's a full-on tilt towards that Breeders' Crown. Oh, yes, there is. That's another great carnival and a great concept, so uh, well, we'll be supporting it. We did speak to you in the uh, presentation about the, the amount of hours that goes into buying the yearlings that you, you go through every season. There's a lot of work that people don't realise that goes into that process. Yes, and, and we're big buyers too, so we've got to take it seriously, and uh, and and we're, you know, at the top end of the market, so uh, we don't spend other people's money. Likely, we like to bring home what we what we want. So that that makes a day like today all the more joyous for you. Oh yes, absolutely. Congratulations, Mark. Well done on the treble. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Gavin, she was super in the semi-final, and she got that job done again today in the final. You must be very proud of Heaven's trend. Yes, uh, to come out of the come off the arm like that in a 26 quarter, it's uh, a pretty good effort for a horse, which well, had five or six runs, to to then show that stamina at the finish. So uh, yeah, very gutsy effort. She loves this Menangle track. She she likes to get trucking on that top corner and just run them off their feet. Yeah, true. Um, I was a little bit concerned after the early burn that. Go, you know, getting rolling that far from home can be their undoing sometimes, but uh, yeah, it just shows, you know, she's a classy little animal. Emma Stewart and Clayton Tongan do a, a remarkable job, especially with their young horses, and that's another great training performance. To pick that filly up after what she did here a fortnight ago in, in Australasian record time and get her to do what she did to get today, that's a, that's a really good training performance. Yeah, I go along with that. A um, couple of trips up the highway to boot as well. It's um, not an easy thing, but uh, I must say that filly takes everything in a stride and doesn't seem to phase her on the outside anyway. What about her makeup? How, how big she is? What do you think? Is there is there some room for for growth? I think so. Um, just looking at her, and I mean, some horses develop later than others, and uh, but yeah. Um, Maybe she might be a good two-year-old and then the others might catch up to her next year, maybe, but only time will tell. And uh, it's good to see the owners pick up their, their first group one, the, uh, the Edwards. Yeah, quite right. They've uh, put quite a deal of money in the industry and, um, yes, uh, good to see uh, that uh, people that are prepared to put the money in can get a return and, uh, yeah, they're going to do well with this one. And you'll be go to Queensland with her to drive her there? Uh, that's the plan, I believe, yes. Um, the system up there is that they're ranked and she's ranked uh, to get a run so it's not a matter of running through heats or semis so uh, yeah I imagine provided she comes through today well she'll be there. Congratulations with the Breeders Challenge win well done. It's always a pleasure thank you. Well Jack a win in the Rising Stars for 2015 must be a big thrill. Yeah it's awesome Greg um, obviously it was a bit nerve-wracking nerve going in the last heat knowing that Chris was right on my tail but yeah my horse went really good and to get the overall victory is awesome.
It's a, it's, a, it's a big thing to win. A lot of talented drivers have won this, and it, and it does set you up now as a, as a freelance driver. You've obviously got a good name as it is already, but to win something like this really helps you kick your career along. Yeah, it does for sure. And um, like, it's no, it's, it all comes down to the drives you get, and I was lucky that I got good drives for the week. It's, um, to all the other drivers' credit, they went super, and, but some of them may not have got the draw, luck of the draw. But no, it's all experience and um, I've just got to take time to thank David and Rachel McLeaf because they were massive supporters for us this week. They looked after us in their own time and we all really appreciate it. Across the 10 heats, you won plenty of races. You won three at Bathurst, picked up uh, another victory last night, I think, or you picked up another couple of wins during the, the, se- the series. What was the highlight for you? Yeah, definitely Bathurst. Um, obviously winning all three heats was uh, super and it just gave me a nice comfortable lead, but um, probably the highlight of the trip was getting to know these juniors um, and getting on becoming good friends for life. Well, mate, congratulations with the win. How was the iFly experience uh, during the week? I don't think I'll be able to take it up professionally, but um, it was definitely something good to take off the bucket list. I might not be back anytime soon, but congratulations, mate. Well done. Awesome. Thanks, Greg. Final heat in the Rising Stars for 2015, taken out by Madison Reynolds driving Shannon's a blast. Must be a thrill for you, Madison. Yeah, it's a massive thrill. Um, before I went out there, Darren told me I was a good chance and we loved, got a bit of luck during the run, and the horse just done the job from there. What were you thinking halfway through? Did you think, oh, I'm in a, I'm in a pretty good position here. I might be able to win this. Yeah, I couldn't believe my luck where I lobbed straight off the gate, and once Chris moved up, and Mr. Chow's a nice horse, who's going to take me into the race. I was quite confident. Did you get a bit excited turning for home when, uh, when you were able to move up as quickly as you did? Oh yeah, goosebumps went straight through me. I couldn't believe it. Your first drive at Menangle, it, it, it must give you a great, a great thrill to, to win a race like this. Is it, is it a career highlight? Yeah, absolutely. My career highlight by a long way, and it's a really, really good track. And first time I've been out here and drove on it, and full credit to the track and people that have put in time and effort to get it to you today. And what about the week? How did you enjoy spending the week with all of the other rising stars? Oh, it was fantastic. I'll never forget it. I met a lot of good people, and Jack and Chris are good blokes. I've never met them before, and they're big, good role models that I'm looking at as well, even though they're around my age group. But no, it was a fantastic week. And some great people throughout the week supporting you guys. Um, uh, David and Rachel Mikalev showing uh, showing everyone and, and looking after everyone throughout the week. Yeah, their, their job was just phenomenal. They took their own time off and come and drove us around and took us different places. And you learn a lot as well going to the different stables like Luke McCarthy's and Steve Turnbull's. And they're big names in the game and they're very good at what they do. Well, mate, congratulations with the win today. Really good drive. Well done. Thank you. Trevor, our Waikiki Beach just loves Sydney. Oh, he certainly does. He's uh, getting to know the track pretty well. He's, uh, he's given you a lot of thrills, this horse, and he's only had the nine starts. It, it could be the start of a very long ride with him. Uh, you had to be the best today, and he proved it. Were you surprised that there was that there's so much pressure? I, I, I thought he would roll straight to the top, and it would be the end of the race. I, I did too. He has got good gate speed, but uh, the horse from out wide really showed it a huge acceleration and got the front. And uh, Mark didn't panic from there. He just sort of sat outside them and uh, outstayed them, really. He did have to show a bit of fight today, and, that, and that's probably the first time he's been asked that question, and he's shown he's got that in his arsenal as well. Yes, yes. No, he had been untested up till today, and it was good. Uh, Mark's comment to me was he, he showed he was the best today. So what's, uh, in terms of, you, you've had some fantastic horses, but what sort of thrill is this horse giving you? They're all a thrill. Every race you win, it's always a thrill to win. Um, he's something special, yes. Do you think uh, you'll be back here at some time in the future, maybe looking at races like the Chariots of Fire, the Miracle Mile? Uh, uh, are you starting to think that far ahead with him a couple of years down the track? Uh, look, they all even out and they, uh, the others will catch up to where he is at the moment. So as long as you've got a good, healthy horse and competitive, um, you, you look forward to any race. And do you keep a tally on how many races you've won for the season? I have. I've had that was win number 82 for the season. Phenomenal. And uh, by the looks of it, you get as excited for a maiden win as you do for a Group One. Oh, definitely. Uh, especially, um, I have a lot to do with them at home, and I see them at the stable every day. And you watch them grow up, and yeah, it's fantastic to see them come out and perform so well. And what about this one? Uh, bought at the sales? Was did did you? Pick this one out or did Mark buy this one and then asked you to come in? How did it all work out? Uh, well, we had a little horse by some beach somewhere called Assassinator and we sold him and we decided we'd like another some beach somewhere. So Mark did select, Mark and Natalie selected this one at the Melbourne sale and Mark and Neil Pilcher, my partner, and uh, Natalie's mother 
have gone into this one and uh, yeah, it, uh, all's history now. <laughs> well congratulations with the win, no doubt, big party tonight, well done. Uh, certainly be celebrating, I've got a few Aussie friends here so I might have to shout tonight. Yeah. <laughs>